Hello everyone, welcome. This is Insep here and in today's video I'm gonna explain to you how to install the Fighter Factory 3 version. Well, in specifically this version, this customized version that I use for developing my project and etc. Well, I use this version since 2020 I think and since then I'm been improving and doing some adjustments to make this version as best as possible. So for those who are starting with Mugen right now, uh, I really recommend to use this version specifically if you are going to work in the JOS, okay? Um, so as you can see, there's a few um, differences between the original one. I have some, I, I don't have right here installed, but as you can see, this is the original version. It's a uh, white theme and I'm not sure if you have some code examples. This is like a code example. Uh, I, to be honest, don't like too much this white theme. So my version is based in a dark theme. So we have these guidelines to have a perfect um, alignment in the character with the sprites. We have some more simple interfaces right here. Only the buttons that we use actually instead of having all these buttons that we are not going to use so um, we have also these um, the codes use these um, colors for highlighting it's based on Dracula team but it's a bit customized uh, and well basically it's a more simple version so the first thing you need to do is download the version that you are going to use right here in my Google Drive folder we have three versions to download um, the one that I'm using is this one the Fighter Factory 3 Incept version and we also have a Fighter Factory 3 Incept version light version well what's the difference between which one of them we are going to see in a few minutes we also have the Fighter Factory Studio version. This one uh, is a customized version based in the portable version. And you are not going to cover in this video, but keep in mind that in case you want to use, you can use as well. So right here, I already have the two versions. So I'm gonna just um, extract. I recommend you to use WinHar, WinHar software to extraction just in case to don't have any issues so let me open right here the light version first just to show you and the second version actually the original one so as you can see the only difference between the two versions it's the this bar right here um, basically the fighter factory 3 is a old program so the program does not um, fits with their current monitor size so the light version is designed for small resolution PCs and the normal one is for traditional resolutions so for example for my case it covers all this space but uh, in another computer that has a small resolution this is the screen that I have so if I had a bit more of this space I would not be able to see that's the only difference okay maybe if it's your first time running Fighter Factory um, for the first time maybe it will be giving some error to you and will probably require this driver right here the Microsoft Visual C++ uh, you can just extract and install as well okay it will probably solve the issue and we'll be able to run the software and there's another detail right here this version is specifically for 64 bytes so your if your computer does not have 64 bytes will probably not run uh, i didn't test it in other versions so just keep that in mind okay considering that you already opened the software there's a few options that we need to adjust before we are ready to go. Uh, the first thing is the font. Um, I'm using this JetBrain Mono font. As you can see, let me open the 
Goku again. Um, this is not the default font. This is what I'm using. So you are going to probably have the not sure which one comes by default, but this is something like Arial font. So basically, if you want to use the same font that I'm using, um, you can just extract this folder and install the font right here install so since I already have I will not install again and once you have the font installed you can just run again the fighter factory so you are going to have the font already of course you can customize the size and other things right here well feel free to change anything that you want uh, right here we have this button this will run the project in Mugen and it will run the character let me just okay um, so as you can see I I got the project running without any issues but if you got any errors you can go to the options and in general we can have this and we need to fix the path of the new game of course I added this path this customized path that we were going to um, have more chances to to work because we are not be specifically for my PC but if this didn't work you can just go right here and select the Mugen test and select the Mugen as you can see now there's my username and etc so it will work only for my computer so you can just just do this and apply and everything is going to work right now All right, so now we are able to use the Fighter Factory for character development or any other new game related content. There's uh, some tips that I would like to share with you. So right now I have two projects open it and the Goku Super Saiyan Blue and the Goku Super Saiyan 4. And as you can see, I would like to test, for example, Goku Super Saiyan 4 against Super Saiyan Blue. Well, right now my current active tab is Goku Super Saiyan 4 so I'm going to change right here so now this is the second tab and this is the first tab uh, so based in these options in percentage 0 and percentage 1 the 0 right here means that the first tab it will be um, the enemy and the second tab will be the player okay so since I'm using this in the second tab I will be the player and this will be the enemy okay so let's just do a test so as you can see we are using Goku Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan Blue it's the second so Super Saiyan Blue is running as enemy so if I run on the first tab without any other character I'm going to use the same character as enemy so this is just a small trick for you to test against other characters and unfortunately we cannot use simo mode in Fighter Factory 3 at least I, I don't know how to do this not sure if it's possible there's a few things that also that I'd like to share with you we have this option right here state control list that I use to help me in develop my projects so all of these some are some snip codes that I use it for development characters and most of them of course are for Academy characters so most of this code will not work for normal characters most of them require some um, Academy codes to work of course not all of them just a few ones for example this one is the hit spark elemental it requires this state which is from the 
uh, Academy base. So if you are not using the Academy base, this code will not work. And this goes for the other codes right here. As you can see, uh, it goes into this code. The others are the original one, okay? Uh, there are some more uh, shortcuts that you can explore. For example, Ctrl B and Ctrl Shift B hides the both sidebars, um, just in case you want to uh, hide something. So this is was the main configuration to use the Fighter Factory 3. But if you have a time and wants to explore a bit more, we have a few more extra resources right here in the folder of the Fighter Factory 3. Uh, we have these two option, two programs that are also available right here in the Google Drive folder, and we also have this uh, half folder which contains some resources for the academy palettes um, some palettes references right here and also some portraits templates with also as available re right here and uh, we have the documentation of the fighter factory um, right here contains all the references for the fighter factory itself and we also have this, which is very important. Is the a, a shortcut actually is is a shortcut, so it's internet that relates you to the original uh, documentation of the new game. So here, I, in my opinion, of course, the most important uh, sections that you are going to use is these two: the trigger reference and the state control reference. Um, this is the most important parts of the the documentation. Of course, there's other things you can do, but uh, it's it's interesting to to have this as access because it, it's a pretty complicated link to find. So I just put a shortcut right here. So in case you want to to take a look, and of course this is not a perfect version. So there is a few issues for example it works only for uh, 64 bytes and sometimes there is a bug that you cannot are able to run the project so I, I cannot simulate this bug but I'm going to leave a fix for this so in case you are having this issue you just need to uh, open a new um, fighter factory and he open your current project so you can run the project and close the old fighter factory anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and leave in the comments which content do you like to see for more guide videos right here in the youtube so I'll see you in the next video